Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs. That reminds me. I was about to beg for bitcoins. I was going to say, give me your fucking bitcoins, you assholes. I remembered I need to check the bitcoin wallet. I haven't done that in a while. See if any of you people have given me bitcoin because you love me. You love freedom and you love anarchy. And because you don't hate the children. Because remember, if you don't give me bitcoin, you hate children. Let's talk about... Anyway, I just wrapped up. Just worked... 80 hours in a week, which I know for some of you out there is you're like, well, I'd love to work only an 80 hour week. But for me, 40 of those hours were in two days. It was pretty rough getting over that. Just woke up drinking coffee. Catching up on email. I see there's, there's, there's always stupid shit on Facebook, but I saw this being posted around on Facebook. I went and looked at it, glanced at it. It just rolled my eyes. It'll be there in the upcoming series when I get back to stating the obvious, when I get back to talking about women. There's another one of these things rolling around, you know, five things that are harassment and you don't know they're harassment. And, you know, it's looking at women is sexual harassment. It's tell, telling a woman, woman, telling a woman, telling a woman she'd be prettier if she smiled is sexual harassment. You women are, st I'm just, I'm fucking so sick. And, and believe you me, I understand. I understand that this shit is not representative of all women. It's not even representative of most women. There is this very small minority of femistatists who are very ugly women. They're physically ugly. They're emotionally ugly. Their personalities are ugly. And they're putting this shit out trying to convince normal women who don't mind men saying, hey, what are, you, what are you unhappy about? You should smile. Be happy. Right? That's not sexual harassment. And normal women understand this. But there's this minority of fucked up femistatists who want to destroy any chance of men and women getting along with each other. Right? Because again, it's statism. Okay? The more men and women hate each other, the more men and women can't get along with each other, the more you destroy the ability of people to have personal relationships with other people, the more people are psychologically fucked up. The more people are psychologically fucked up, the more they need the government to provide for them. The other thing that's, that I just happened to see, because I was in a hotel, unfortunately not with a girl, because I was working 20-hour days, but I had a hotel room, in the hotel, going up to the room, they had the free Wall Street journals out. I saw on the cover that Virgin Galactic had one of their test flights crash. and A pilot died, another pilot was injured. So I just did a quick Google on this, pulled up a few articles, glanced at it. I'm not an expert on this, but again, it tells you everything you need to know. There's these idiots. I love this. This is hilarious. American University space policy professor Howard McCurdy says that it is imperative that no shortcuts are taken if commercial space travel is to become a reality. Really? What the fuck is a space policy professor? Space policy professor. Here's somebody else who has a liberal arts degree that can't get a job in the real world. Look, people, fucking space travel is dangerous. These guys are test pilots. They're doing things that have never been done before. They fucking understand they might die. And there's all this, where's this one over here where they said that they can't comment because, oh, here it is. However, quote, however, as we have made clear, Virgin Galactic is not in a position to comment on the incident itself or the test flight. The National Transportation Safety Board is in charge of all the investigation, and we are cooperating fully with their work. All inquiries should be directed to them. The National Transportation Safety Board is in charge of the investigation. Yes, because that's really going to help. Remember, let's see, the government killed how many people when fucking space shuttles blew up? What? Why? Why does something like the National Transportation Safety Board even exist? Virgin Galactic is financing this shit. They hired some test pilots. They're doing this stuff. Leave them a fuck alone. Understand that space travel is dangerous. They're doing the shit out in the desert, which is smart, where you don't fucking land on top of people when you crash. Leave them the fuck alone. 
Oh my god, it's dangerous. We have to have more laws and more regulations. You know, this is why we don't have a fucking moon base. Talked about this before. By we, I mean, that's the royal we, of course. Well, this is why there's no private moon base, because the government would fucking shit. The government's probably shitting right now. You'll notice none of the test pilots on this aircraft were women. 